question about LA right now. Tony Gonsolin just put on the IL with a forearm strain. We know that Walker Bueller is out for the year. Clayton Kershaw is getting healthier. Dustin May is on his way back. But Tyler Anderson might be the most successful starter on the Dodgers staff right now, Aram. Are you concerned at all by LA's pitching as they have those very high hopes as the World Series favorites entering October? You know, it's funny. With the Dodgers, it just seems like they just have an endless supply of pitching. Of course, it's not what we were hoping for because Walker Buehler was on his way to asserting himself as one of the five best pitchers in baseball, and uh, losing him, you can't replace that. Gonsolin has been, you know, a Cy Young contender this year. Losing him, that's difficult to replace. But Dustin May was on the brink of also asserting himself as one of the best right-handers in baseball before he went down with Tommy John surgery. And since returning, has looked fantastic. You lose Gonsolin, but you plug Kershaw back in. He's about to be uh, returning for the Dodgers. And I think he's going to kind of replace what you're getting from Gonsolin. Shorter starts, but pretty dominant short starts that you feel pretty confident every fifth day. He's going to give you five, maybe six really good innings. And then the Dodgers have a litany of prospects that are close to big league ready that I think can really help them. We've already seen Ryan Pepe a little bit this year, but Bobby Miller Mm -hmm. is one of the best pitching prospects in baseball, has started to really come around in AAA. And then they've got an underrated guy named Gavin Stone, who's been one of the best pitchers in all of the minor leagues this season. He's also succeeding in AAA, another guy that they could potentially promote as well. These Dodgers just find a way to plug and play, and it's ridiculous the embarrassment of riches they have over there in L.A.